Yep. Yeah, so the I guess, I don't know, I emailed her team and uh, I didn't get nothing. So I'm just gonna talk to myself for a little bit. What's going on, guys and gals, etc. I mean, if, if there's a random chance she pops up, I don't know, I'll, I'll throw her up, but it's been 25 minutes and I emailed her at 12 this morning. So you know what happens. If anybody wants to pop up, let me know. I'm not going to uh, make you message me on Facebook or anything like that. Just come on up. Um, yeah, so life in the business, you know. Hopefully, some people show. I might mean, didn't change the thumbnail, I don't think. Did I? I don't know. Does it matter? <laughs> Dude, I got these, um, got these cheese balls from... Thing they're fast acting. These things are so good. Like they're so good. But man, they really knock you out, you know. I mean, I hope having the guest fucking gone didn't uh, kill everybody's dreams. You know. <laughs> What's going on, boys and girls? Ladies and gentlemen. Um yeah, I'm not doing much, man. I'm just uh I was off today, made my road trip. And after that, I just kind of sat around and got high. Um, I don't know. What's the else doing? Hey, Kane, what's up, brother? Yes, yeah, so if you're just joining us, uh, the guest is a no show. No call, no show, I guess. I didn't get to, well, I guess it's the same thing, right? If you know a show, it's implied you didn't call. Because you can't be a no-show call. Like, I called, but I didn't show. That doesn't make no sense. You know what I mean? It's got to be a no-call, no no-show. It's fucking redundant. So there's no-show. All you got to say is no-show. Because if you no-show, you don't call. You could have a call, no sh- call, no-show. Does that make sense? You called up, hey, I'm not going to be in. But then there does to be a call. That makes no sense. Well, I guess you could have a call, no-show. So you call them, you say, hey, I'm not going to be in. No, but then there'd be a call-off. I don't know, whatever. Lap, what's up, buddy? <sighs> Drinking some delicious, delicious. I can't talk today. Delicious coffee. We got these cheese balls. I know if uh, you guys are uh, expecting the the rock star or the uh, actor, actress. Blake, what's up, buddy? Come on up, man. If you ain't doing shit, cheer me up, Blake. Yeah, it's uh, Pete, buddy. Fucking, I don't know. I sent her a message this morning. I sent her people message this morning. Like, yo, just checking in. You know, see if you're still doing this. And she would not hear nothing. And I sent another email about 535 or so. You know what I mean? Nothing. So, yeah, it happens. I'm not worried. Stay safe, brother. What is up? What is up, big Stace, man? Stacey, the fucking legend, dude. Legend. I'm ready to get high, dude. Let's do this, man. I, uh, dude, I'm telling you, these cheese balls, you guys will like these, man. And these are fast acting, so if you super chat, I'll do these. You know, give me fucking stoned, stupid stoned right away. Um, it's not too bad, Christy. It's, uh, you know, what is it out there? 50, 30? I don't even know. I didn't really go outside much. I was in the car for a while. I did most of my day was driving. You know what I mean? And, uh, is that Buffalo Wild Wings I see behind you? Where's that? Oh, these? These are peeps. Yeah, those are peeps, actually. It does look like wild wings from back then. I had uh, wings. When did I have wings? I had wings on Tuesday. I had fucking Harry Buffalo. The shit was good, dude. It was really good. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. That fuck, that, 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 their blue cheese is so good. I know some people are like, ah, I don't like the blue cheese. It's like, Man, that shit's fucking awesome. Like the way that sauce melts in with that cheese and then, ah. Like the you get a nice chunk in there, and you get a chunk. Oh god, that's fucking heaven. That's yeah, fucking heaven, dude. Hell yeah, Kane knows what I'm talking about. What's up, uh, Mister Retired Squirrel, Groovy Squirrel? How you doing, buddy? How's life, man? Are you still rocking the fucking? Hey, we got to at this point. We got to say what it is. What it is? Are you still rocking the stupid haircut? Hey, did you trim that shit? When I say stupid, I I mean last. I mean, it was like growing like really long, wasn't it? Like. Like you were doing a, I don't know, I think you did trim some of it. I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe I'm just an asshole. I'm just being a 
what's the word? Antagonizing on purpose because I'm bored. Someone come talk to me, man. Doing well. Nice, nice, nice. Good for you, bro. Good for you. Oh, yeah. Not cutting it. Okay, okay. So he still looks like a fucking reject from like one of those 80s movies. Trims of, yeah, you got you got to, dude. Because if it don't, it looks stupid, you know? You got to. Instigate. Is that what it is? Yeah, instigate. That's what it is. Is it antagonizing, instigate? I don't know. Not a fucking English English guy. Not an English major. There's plenty of, many, there's plenty of stupid major. I don't think any guys do that anymore, English major. I mean, not saying it's a stupid major, but like, what's the pay? I mean, what can you do? Teach kids? I mean, write books? You don't need a degree for writing books. Anybody can write a book. You know, this is one guy lost 400 pounds, wrote a book, how I lost 400 pounds. Doesn't mean anybody read it. I ain't dumb ass to write a book. I didn't cut mine for three years. Nice, dude. Nice. Did I, uh, I'm going to think the longest I had this, I, it gets, I really, because if it gets too long, I start playing with it. I don't, I, I got to trim my shit. I do. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. So, what's up, Lap? How you doing, buddy? How's life in the big city, bro? I started the food truck and hated to choose it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, practicality, too. You know what I mean? Oh, wait. I missed the super chat. Fuck. Hold on. Oh, it just came here. Oh, my bad. Hell, yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. So, these are the cheese balls. These are so good, dude. I'm not going to lie. Like, I wanted to play cheese ball roulette with somebody. So, check it out. Remember, we had those world's hottest cheese balls, and then we got, you know, you got these cheese balls, and then you can have, like, regular, what, planters or whoever makes them. Just put them all in a bowl, and people could just, you know, close their eyes and play cheese ball roulette. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I had some uh, rigatoni. I don't know if it was rigatoni or ziti or some shit. It was pretty good earlier. Um. Yes. Yeah, everything like that. Any kind of freezing... It's fucking ridiculous. Angie's in the building. What is up, Angie? How is life? Life and day. So all that we came. I like this song. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty baked as it is. I really am. And I get these cups, too. If you guys want me to do a cup, I can do a cup as well. I found the cups again. The s'mores cups. They're so good. It says, I took Yippee Kaye Ohio Train. The trains aren't here. They they run horrible times, dude. Like if you if you get an Amtrak to Cleveland, you got to get there like three in the morning. It's fucking stupid. I took down the last day on the bathroom. Okay, okay, nice. Je- Lep hasn't cut his beard since fifteen. That's a long time, dude. What's that fucking six years, eight years now? Wow, it's the longest beard in the history of the world, bro. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What's up, people? Somebody come and say hi, man. At least one of you come say hi. Fuck, don't leave me alone up here by myself talking like a lunatic. Guy next door is in the garage like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? Fucking piece of shit. Nah, he probably doesn't care about me. I mean, he cares, you know, I mean, cares like about me. He doesn't want me harmed, but, you know, not like that. Um, What was I going to do? Oh, smoke. Hell yeah. Oh, that's what I didn't bring over here. I got to go get that weed, the flower. It's way over there. I think I got enough to roll another one real quick. Because I'm not going to lie, because I'm really high from before. Because I was testing out a lot of the product. You know what I mean, and that and them things are really good. I just kept eating them. You know what I mean? So it was just it was like a cycle. I just I ate one, I ate another one, I ate one. And next thing you know, fucking bag's gone. You know what I mean? It's a lot of fucking uh, a lot of fast acting. I've seen that. Somebody said it tastes like uh what mouthwash or cotton candy or toothpaste or something, something ridiculous. I think it's you I'm trying to remember your tweet about it. Christy in the building. I think I said hi to Christy already. I'm pretty sure actually I did 100%. Yucky. Yeah, what, what does it taste like, Drew? What does it taste like? I love me some water. I'm not going to lie. Baby powder. That's what it was. They got chalky baby powder mix and shit. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Uh, they don't have any new videos, I don't think, think to really, to share. I don't really have anything, honestly, to talk about, to be honest with you. Oh, we got somebody coming up. I think it's Angie. Hold on. Yep, it's Angie. Welcome to the party, Angie. Ooh, look at that cool background hey, we got. Hey, how are you? Pretty cool. Looks like we're in the fucking, uh, like, on a lake or something. Isn't that cool? Yeah. I, that was me. I, I just muted. Sorry. I do it every time. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. That's looks a cool like background. A it, it does look like, like we're on a lake. That's I cool, like man. It. We're on a it boat. It is cool. 
Oh, you know, I forgot to put the comedy show fucking banner up. God damn it. Here we go. There you go. So don't forget about the comedy show tickets, people. On sale now. A lot of you nice. guys have already bought them. It's going to be a party. Because if you don't come up, then I'm going to wilt and die. You like when I'm flowers and shit? <laughs> oh, man. What uh, what you been up to today? You just been chilling? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. You got, you, got the, you got some day naps in, didn't you? Because I was, I went to uh, when I got back. I see if you guys were live. You was already off, so I was just like, okay. Yeah, yeah. I didn't go as long um, this morning. I, I was, I, I yeah. It kind of hit me, <laughs> and I'm like, uh, okay, I gotta go. <laughs> that's, how, that's how it be. That's how it be. It just fucking smacks you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I got a couple hours this afternoon. Yeah, no worries, no worries. If you can't make it out, oh, Thomas, what's up, buddy? Hey, Sexy Thomas, you potato eating fuck. What's going on? <laughs> Taylor's in the building. Taylor, what's up, buddy? <laughs> yeah, we're just out here getting high, man. We're just getting high, chilling. Yeah. Oh yeah, man. I got Thomas, some cactus we... OG. Boy, that's some good stuff. Oh, uh, you know, I even even uh, I didn't even know what the name of the strain was. This shit I got. Let me go check here. I gotta go get the bag. Give me a second. Hold the All fork. Right. I'll hold down the fort. I think you got to shoot people as they come in. That's a whole fort means. <laughs> no, see, I would just hug everybody. <laughs> I'm a lover, not called, a fighter. <laughs> this is called something OG, too. It says Trey OG. Oh, uh, yeah. That's a good one, too. Let me see what, what it looks like. I can't even smell it. Usually, this stuff's pretty good, regardless. I don't really fuck with fuck care, you know. So I still can't smell anything. Yeah, whatever. I'm sure it'll get high. That's all I'm looking to do. Right. What's up, exactly. uh, what's up to Taylor and Thomas is already here. Hell yeah. So uh, I don't know. Nothing really. No new games on. It's nothing this weekend. No, no. I hate this time after the Super Bowl when there's no football and. Well, like the NBA's in the All Star break too, so it's like fucking. There's no basketball all weekend. Yeah. You know I mean, hey, Anelli, what's up, buddy? Hey, John. Uh, Taylor wants to know: Is that a hand cream or a proof perfume pump to the side of the lady? I think it's a bottle <laughs> of Bailey's, right? It's no. I wish it was. No, it's it's hand cream. <laughs> uh, okay, it looks like a bottle of uh, Bombay. What's that Bombay it street called? You know what I'm about? Yeah, Bombay rum. Is it rum? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, yeah Bombay Sapphire or whatever that logo. It's just, it's just lotion. <laughs> Come see hi, uh, Shredder or Anelli or anybody. What's up? Is that that's Randy, right? Yeah, we're chilling, man. We're chilling. Well, Ellen, if those just joining us, the uh, yeah, you know, it's funny. They're gonna come up here to see you, and they think they're gonna think you're the porn. Yeah, they're, 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 <laughs> Yeah, no, no. I, yeah, I don't think they're gonna make that that mistake at all. <laughs> this is Angie. The uh, I don't look anything like her, so yeah, they're gonna be like, Disney, hey, wait, we're getting shortchanged here. Who's this player <laughs> bitch? This isn't who he was gonna have. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's great. Oh well. Uh, you know. Right, right, right. <laughs> so, oh my God! Wait, so what happened? Like did she just did. She have a. Conflict? I don't know. A lot of times people forget, and they're you know, it's like they're not. It's not like a, a major event in their life. You know what I mean? So they probably just forgot. Ain't yeah. no big deal. It happens. I'm not worried about. Oh it. yeah, yeah. Part of yeah. it has been fucking. Maybe had probably a dozen people at this point say, you know, hey, I'll do the show, and then you propose times, or you just bring it up again, and and they just sit there, and, and it's and it's weird because they see the message. And they just yeah. don't respond. So it's like I'm, I'm just picturing this way. I'm, I'm just picturing him looking at me like this, like, <laughs> like not saying anything. Like, why, why are you looking at it, just not saying anything? Oh, have you cool. ever have you ever interviewed someone who just sits there? Um, it's it's really, just like not really. And, and most of the people I get up have, are talkable. So it, it, I'm trying to think. Yeah? Of one. Every once in a while, you get a short cut, short answers here or there, but it's not too bad. You know what I mean? Because. I, None where only, you had to kind of pull it out of them or anything. No, I mean some people. There's only there's only so much they did that it's interesting. You know what I mean? Yeah. Say what like some athletes. Once you ask if you know if they got in the NFL and they played a little bit, if they didn't do anything beyond that, there's you know you got to kind of stretch it out. Ask about high school a little bit more. Yeah, you know I mean just emphasize uh, smaller shit more than you would with some people. You know what yeah. I mean? Like like if you spent fucking if you got to talk to you know 
fucking Matt Reiser. Not Matt Reiser. What's the guy that played on My Two Dads? What's that guy's name? Paul Reiser. Reiser. Paul Reiser. If you got to talk to Paul Reiser for an hour, you wouldn't spend 20 minutes talking to him about his high school. You know I mean, there's other things. You know what I mean? But if you got right. somebody who, you know, only played three three games of football, you know, you talk to them for a little bit longer about high school. It's just the way it was. <laughs> you go three minutes and then you're like, okay, well, thanks for coming. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get it. <laughs> Chris. All right, Chris Hansen. I think you need to come in here and have a seat next to me. What are you doing here tonight? How are the people not moderators? They must not have been here for a while. Joey, <laughs> let me tell you. Let me tell you. I have said this on my last two lives. I have noticed that a lot of my moderators, it's like all the wrenches got scrubbed on both my channels. And people that I've been subscribed to for years, I've had to resubscribe to. So Jeez, I don't know what? if when YouTube made these big changes, if they scrubbed, you know, I, I don't know. But like I went on Paul's um, stream the other night and um, I pulled it up and it said and it said I had to subscribe again. And I was like, I'm already subscribed. I mean. I was a mod on his channel when he was like plowing and stuff. So I don't know. I don't know what, I don't know what's going on, but definitely everybody check it. Cause they're screwing around. <laughs> I, I, end of the day. I, I, mean, I, I haven't, I don't know. Maybe I just have researched it. I mean, there I mean it's not that. a big deal. Cause you can go in and give the wrenches back and you can go right, and right, right. subscribe, but it's a pain in the ass. And it, it causes, you know, friction. People are like, Oh, Oh, you just subscribed to me. It's like, no man, I've been subscribed. <laughs> Well, sometimes, people, God. <laughs> sometimes people fuck with you and uh you know might unsubscribe resubscribe just to make it no you know what i mean just to just do that but like uh yeah I've, I've never, maybe i just haven't noticed i'm about to check a couple people just to see if this theory works yeah yeah seriously check it because like uh i mean i, I remember i went in and i had two people that had wrenches and i know i had a bunch of people had wrenches you and jv and just you know a bunch of people and none of them had them. And I was just like, and, and of course people were like, Hey, what, what happened? Did I do something? I don't have a wrench anymore. It's like, no, man, I swear to God. I mean, I'm like, like, <laughs> people take it, cause I'm, cause beer bowl this Sunday. Okay. For sure, brother. Yeah. I should be around. I'm, I'm trying to think Sunday. What's going on Sunday. I work Saturday, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the guest, the, the guest is a no, no show. Unfortunately. Yeah. This isn't uh <laughs> Angie doesn't have a secret she's been hiding from us no. Although, if you Although. guys want the secret tape of the true answers in 895 plus Inquiring shipping and handling. Now. I do have a video here. Let me just pull that. No, I'm kidding. I kid. I kid. I kid. I kid. I kid. I kid. No porn no for me to poop on. <laughs> Extra. <laughs> See, I told you people were going to come up and say, wait, wait a minute. Wait, this is some damn cruel joke what's angie doing up here that's not the porn star <laughs> right right so i apologize uh miss jasmine is not uh, available i don't know yeah. I, well, i'm I, sure I I'll, apologize. i don't know i'm not jasmine i'm just angie so <laughs> <laughs> how fluid can that art get <laughs> <laughs> oh well nope i'm not gonna get right. no, no camera no camera no camera yeah, i'm not so. gonna do it yeah. oh hold on i got some recording there Hey, Bobby Joe, Hobo, Bobby Joe and Hobo. That's cute. Stop that. I'm Chris Hansen, and I'd like you to come in and have a seat next to me. All right, sorry about that. I forgot to get Jimmy a chocolate, not a chocolate shake, a shamrock shake. But I was going to I was gonna get it after the show, but then uh, I think he's probably thinking the show's over already. Oh, I, yeah. You know I mean? That's no big deal. Uh, hopefully, Chadio, Chadio, I don't, I mean, good luck. Good luck. Chadio needs to. Keep his life private a little bit. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, doesn't have to broadcast every single date that's going. I've told well, him that. What did I miss? What happened? I don't know. Uh, Josh says that uh, Chadio's got a date tonight, but I mean, Chadio doesn't even be telling people that. Like, you know what I mean? Just go, just go on the date and have fun. You know, just to broadcast that to everybody. Yeah. I'm like I'm like that a lot, though. I get excited to tell people about stuff, but. Oh, like, for sure. Events and stuff. But yeah. I mean, when you, I don't know. Whatever. No, no, I, mean, I get I know, I get what you're saying. Cause you know, then what if it doesn't 
you know, work out, then you're like, yeah, oh, well. Hey, hey, you want a list of fucking, and then somebody comes up with a list of that Ben Chadio's <laughs> worst date stories. You know what I mean? So you don't want, you don't want the Oh, he did have a, a live once about best and worst dates. Honest to God, I could not come up with a good first date story, um, but I had a lot of bad ones. Like the one when I went on this. <laughs> <laughs> this is like it was a camping date i i don't know we were at this campsite we were sitting around a bonfire it was nice you know it was all cold out and stuff and i oops before when, before he picked me up i was rushing around trying to get ready i just pulled the clothes out of the dryer that i was gonna wear threw them on and out the door i went right and i'm noticing when i'm sitting there around the campfire i'm like what's wrong with my leg? Like at the bottom of my pant leg, it was like, like swollen. Like there was something in, in my pants or something. I was like, what, what is that? And I realized when he looked away that, you know how in the dryer, sometimes your clothes can get like wrapped up in each other. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I had two pair of underwear in my pant leg. Nice. Yeah. Nice. And they were the sexy thing I to do. And I was like, oh my God. So I had to like pretend and I was hoping he didn't see the big lump. <laughs> so when he went to pee, I had to run to the car and like throw him in my car. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. We we didn't have a second date. So um, <laughs> yeah. I had one that, chick. All, that was all a sign. Did, I had one chick. All she did was talk about like previous dates. Like, oh, I had one I date once when I did. Oh, I did. I don't want to hear about that shit. Let me just talk about me and you. Oh, like right. Oh my God. Yeah. 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 Unfortunately, yeah. no, no, uh, no, no, no call, no show. Unfortunately, we worse. It happens, bro. It happens. It's uh, you know, nature of the business, man. You know how it is. So we're just up here getting high, having fun. Mm -hmm. I've, I've had people that uh, you know, I've, I thought it was a good date, and then you get done, they just never call you again. I mean, I've had that. So it's like, well, I guess it wasn't a good date. I had one, <laughs> one guy say, "Wait, what?" Did how was it? <laughs> he was an ass. He was a real ass. He said, uh, shit, how did he say it? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure what I want right now, but I know I don't want you. Uh <laughs> I was like, okay. All right. Well, you know, you ain't got to tell me twice. And out the door I went, fucker. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right he wasn't any good anyway <laughs> in many ways so <clears throat> oh my goodness so what's up I, I can't say i don't have no material this is like uh this is horrible it's horrible yeah it's happens. yeah we get the fast acting cheese balls yay for the cheese balls so they can say hi to me and angie so you got thd cheese balls get yeah, the hell out of here fast acting look at it <gasps> How do you get cheese balls with weed in it? Oh. I, I don't know. It was just at the Spenzo to earlier. Maryland has nothing. They have nothing. Wait till it it, it it starts slow, man. That's the thing with the fucking marijuana industry. Once it first opens up in the state, it starts so slow. But then oh once God. it opens up, it's good. Like Michigan, for example, like back in 2018, if you wanted any kind of recreational, you had to go clear up to Ann Arbor. You had to have your car to get into like Detroit or anything. But you had to hey, Detroit was the nearest thing to anything. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. then they slowly started opening up and opening up. And now they got fucking recreational as right as soon as you hit the border. You know what I mean? So and the product just gets bigger and bigger. You get more and more. You know, before it would be just like whatever. Like I remember when Ohio first opened, they only had like two strains. And it was just like tiny. It was just ridiculous. Yeah. It, was, it just once they grow and they get, get more food. I mean, it's like a goddamn. It, we were let's talk with this one, uh, two people. And uh, we we're like, yeah, this is kind of like the Walmart of weed right here. Cause they like 50 people working and fuck, it was like 9 30 on a Friday and it's fucking line out the door. <laughs> I know, right? I mean, in, in Maryland, it's like we have gummy yawns. That's it. That's all we have, gummy yawns. Oh my goodness. Don't you get it? Yeah, Ohio's weird. Like you can have uh I mean, I don't know what the I guess you can have any is it because they sell edibles and they sell flowers, so you can make edibles, oh, there's nothing against it. But there's no like law against how much you can have either. Like, I mean, you could buy. It doesn't say you can't just like buy and store all your weed. I don't know. It's such a gray area. It really is. It's such a weird gray area in Ohio. Joey, that it's was not. a joke. 
And it was but, kind of funny because I get. I, I totally wasn't paying attention. I'm so sorry, baby. Say again. That's all right. I said, Maryland, all we have is um, gummy yawns. Gummy so, yawns. <laughs> yawns. <laughs> you know, because like, <laughs> we're so fucking boring. Get it? <laughs> I knew old. you would find that funny. I'm like, yeah, wait a yeah. minute. This thing must not be on. Hang on. Yeah, frozen fries covered in powdered THC Old Bay. <laughs> <laughs> Doof is in the building. What is up, sir? What is Hello, up, buddy? Doof. Doof, my brother, bro. What's up with that guy? I like Doof. He's a good dude, man. Doof's a, Doof's a hell of a fellow, man. Doof is. Doof is a hell of a fellow. And he, anyways, he lives like right by a gas station. Like, it's so close. It's conveniently close. He might think it's inconvenient, but I thought it was cool how close it was. Like yeah, you can just walk, walk over and get some, like, you know, hot dogs or whatever you want all the time. Frozen well, I pizza. guess they have fish and chips instead of hot dogs since they're in the UK. They got those prawns, those prawn, uh, prawn cocktail, uh, Pringles. They're really good. They're really good. It's like, uh, it's a different flavor, but you, what the hell? Oh. <laughs> I'm sure it is. Prawn favored flavored Pringles. Yes, yeah, prawn cocktail Pringles. Sounds yummy. <laughs> They're not too bad, actually. Too bad. He's very high, man. Very high. I'm a very high. Well, you, sound, the- you sound like the count off of Sesame Street. A one a ring a ding a two <laughs> ring a ding. <laughs> right? Uh oh, I can't find my lighter. Just recovered. Rediscovered the band from the UK called the Mac Lads. Okay, okay. I've never heard of these guys. Are they still around? They're still are these guys younger, older? Are they, could they be on the show? I'll have to look them up, man. Shrimp chips from shrimp. Yeah, the, the shrimp infused stuff is actually not too bad, man. I, I fuck with it. They don't have it too much over here. They don't. They don't in the States. Did I say shrimp infused? <laughs> that sounded weird. The stuff made with shrimp byproducts. I don't think they use shrimp scrap. I think they just use like a shrimp coating, like something that tastes like shrimp. I don't know, though. There could be actual fish in that motherfucker. Who knows? Hey, Doof is getting, uh, he says, how dare <laughs> So, I'm sorry. Cocktail Pringo, how dare you? It's actually really good. It's, the the, the snacks over there. Dare, it's the prong cocktail pringo. We, we got all these bullshit additives in the States, man. The food over there is just, uh, the snack food is just so much healthier and better for it. It's good. It's really good. I oh, I know, it. right? Squeezy cheese on a yeah. chicken and a biscuit. It was still that funny. That's snack of champions. They were they were they were 50 50 on that. Half of them. Oh, UK that. hates squeezy cheese. All of them. Half of them were uh fucking they were like not about it. <laughs> yeah, Doof. Mick T has said that is disgusting. <laughs> well, last one last wouldn't touch it. He wouldn't even eat it. He wouldn't even <laughs> fucking just the concept made, made him pissed off as a fucking Englishman. He says if it's tomato ketchup and mayo, oh tomato ketchup and mayonnaise flavor, basically. Okay. Tired, left's tired now. He's hungry soup. No, I'm hungry now. I'm tired. We need to get the piece of the month club together, bro. We have uh, we haven't met this month. I forgot what it was. What even was it? It was like a chicken something, wasn't it? It wasn't anything like, oh, yeah, because it used to be like it seemed like every month they would come out with something like spectacular, literally new and awesome, and then they just kind of like. You know, like a super pepperoni pizza or something. <laughs> Listen, when we come up in May, I want some of that spaghetti pizza. Oh, from that's a seasonal thing. It depends what month it is for. Uh, oh. For, for uh, what should we call it? For Dina's. Are you serious? They won't yeah. make it. They won't like make it special. Oh, they might. You, they, you just got to talk to them. It just depends what they got there. You know I'll mean? sweet talk them. I'll say, hey, I'm from Maryland. Come on. Right. Be like, yo, I heard about your spaghetti pizza. Hook it up. Yeah. Love says wild, mild chicken pizza for February. Okay. Okay. I fuck with it. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Yeah. I guess that doesn't look good with my lotion sitting right there, does it? <laughs> <laughs> well, at least, at least, I mean, for a girl, it really doesn't matter where's, much. For a guy, where's the know. paper towels? <laughs> <laughs> I do have for a mirror, but it's for the baby. Okay, okay. I'm into this. Let's work. Let's work. <laughs> no, it's because I have like skin like an alligator. <laughs> oh, November. Okay. Yeah, if anybody else ain't doing nothing, man, come say hi. We're, uh, well, everybody always goes to JV show when it comes up on the panel, and we gotta beg people to come up on our shit. That's okay. That's okay. Everybody's probably driving home or whacking it or something. I don't know. 
You mean a sock? <laughs> Whack, whacking it or something. Uh, can I tell you? What's up? I was going to say, you know, I'm really glad that it's the... Um, um the weekend you know but it's it's just it's just another it's just another day just sent you a message oh okay honey that's true i mean it's days just, are like yeah days you're gonna work or days you don't have to work after a while you know what i mean like I get it for people who are happy, you know, and they have, they're like, okay, it's a work week. And they're like, yeah, we're going to, you know, we're going to party it up on the weekend. But, you know, people that are having shit, you know, it's like, it's still shit. Am I a smib? I have no idea. What's that? Secret Men in Black? I have no idea what a smib is. What's a smib? I'm interested in knowing. I got to look it up now. Hold on. The Freemason thing, I think. Oh, so, doof. Look at you, right? It says, so mote it be is a ritual phrase used by the Freemasons and more recently by neo-pagans, meaning so may it be, so it is required. Yeah, so mote it be. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like a prayer, like a like game end kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. No, I mean, I'm not, I'm not Wiccan or, um, but I'm. Oh, he's spiritual. made silver. Oh, he's, I'm spiritual. He's, oh, he's <laughs> but no that was cool so it be yeah i know that i mean i know people who are um yeah but no i'm just spiritual yeah he says that's what the locals will call when he was stationed out there am i a can you pull it up again i don't have on my glasses so. oh no he just said uh he, he when he was stationed on pox river he that's what the locals were called the sims or sim smibs oh I so was not middle. aware of that. No, I'm I'm in Western Maryland. Okay. Last time I was in Maryland was when the Browns uh, lost to the Ravens. Boo, boo, Browns, you suck, fucking Browns. <laughs> right. <laughs> can I ask a Can I ask a question? Sure. I see a lot of people who type in the chat TDO and Flames. What does that mean? That's uh, I think that's Randy's thing. I think. Oh, is that like a chi okay? Yeah. Okay. It's a, it's a I cookie. figured it was like a barbecue, you know, kind of thing, but I just wasn't sure. I was trying to figure. It out. Just couldn't. <laughs> it's on. Oh my god! Hello, girl. They're a cult. Cult of personality. Yeah. I am the cult of Western Maryland, like West Virginia border. Um, yeah, I'm like right on. Um, I'm in the in the in the thin part, you know, like of you know Maryland looks like a gun, and I'm up there, so I'm like I'm like 15 minutes from the West Virginia border, and I'm like five minutes from the Pennsylvania border. Um. I'm real close to the Mason Dixon line. So, nice. Yeah. Near, 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 near. Oh, well, let's try to do it with our mouths. Ready? I'm talking about the. <laughs> I'm talking well, about I, the I, don't, I don't have both memorized. I don't have both memorized. <laughs> Come on, it would be fun. That's one of those songs that, like, it's okay. Yeah, but then, you would like, just follow me. So, just follow me. It's so played. They play it so much. <laughs> Never seen the movie. Don't want to. I don't think I've seen the movie sober. I've never seen it, period. And I don't think I want. I broke down in, uh, in that one yeah, part of the movie. Yeah, mm -hmm. And Hancock, I always remember Hancock, Maryland is the first time I ran to the border because I broke down there once. So I always remember. Oh, Hancock. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's what that's up in that's the woods. That's a fun place to land. <laughs> Now, how far have you ever been out to like where they filmed Blair Witch and all that? Oh yeah, yeah, Burkittsville and and actually the road that you go to take to Burkittsville, there's um, it's called Spook Hill, and it's just like an optical illusion, but it looks like you're going uphill, and you 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 go you you 
stop your car at the bottom of the hill and you put it in neutral and take your foot off the brake and it the car goes uphill and they're oh, saying really? that it's the ghosts of the soldiers who were pushing the cannons up the because it's it was where this some civil war was fought oh, okay yeah so um it, and it does it, it does work i mean it has to be an optical illusion or something you know because <laughs> me and some friends put powder on our bumper to see if there would be fingerprints <laughs> but i don't think ghosts leave fingerprints right okay, Why i'm gonna stop smoking because i'm getting the sillies <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> Look around, Andrew. Are there little people in the room? Andrew, where are you from? Are you he's, from he's, near he's where the, I am? He's in the Dayton area. Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. says they have Gravity Hill. It's so freaky. Oh, you guys have okay, yeah, it, yeah. It's gotta be like a some kind of. I swear to God, though, man, it is going up. It, it the, the road is going up. I mean, maybe the trees on the side. It's actually going down, but kind of. I don't know. Who knows? Well, you gotta. You're probably too high, and you fucking uh, just forgot to change the channel. It happens, dude. You know, there's times I wake up and there's some random ass shit in the TV. For some reason, Lux Fridman's always on. Like, I always like, cut a random video on before I go to sleep. And then YouTube's on, like, the big screen just says to sleep. And I wake up at some random ass Lux Fridman video. Because his interviews go fuck it, five hours and shit. Which I would love to do for some of this shit. But, like, you know, um, I don't know. This was Tucson has roller coaster road. Vanessa, welcome to the party. How you doing? How you doing? Hi, Vanessa. Tucson. I've, been, I've, been, I've, been, I've spent. Many, I mean, hi. The uh, I spent mad time in Tucson. Mad time. You it so weird late night as the creepiness. Okay. Dude, that's a great. That's a great picture. Dude sent me a, a picture of himself, and he is dressed to the nines. Oh yeah, he just fucking yeah. beast, bro. Beast mode and shit. I know. We have Gravity Hill as well. So a school bus got hit there. They see the kids pushing the car. Oh. We need to start another good rumor. Like you've heard of shit like Cry Baby Bridge and shit like that. We need to start something like that. Let's we'll start a good uh, good urban legend. That's yeah, like like the Mothman. Let's let's make up um how about uh how about <laughs> we need a we need a, like an urban YouTube urban about... legend based, based on like Robert or something. Like we need, we need to collaborate with Robert killer or something. I don't know. I can't collaborate with Robert and like, yo, Robert, disappear for like three months off YouTube, and then we get a urban legend going on about you, saying that you uh, <laughs> you were committed to an insane asylum and you broke out, and no one knows where you're at, and then one day we'll just appear. You know what I mean? I mean, go on, be fucking cool. <laughs> oh my god! It doesn't have to be Robert. Robert's an example. It could be anybody, but that'd be funny as fuck. Does anyone just see so this? started about me? I've had enough of them. <laughs> I don't Square need any more. Today. I haven't been on Twitter too much today. I was driving most of the day, so I haven't seen too much of the Twitter. There's uh, the, the, the corners in Winslow. That's way in the other end of Arizona. Like it's uh, from from where I was in Phoenix or in Tempe. It was like it's it's in actually in Phoenix, like right at the border of Phoenix and Tempe. That was a good five hours to get to uh, Winslow. Before it was it was a haul. It was way up in the middle of nowhere. There's like nothing up that way. There really isn't. Winslow's like nothing, dude. If you want, we can pretend and you can uh, do the interview that you were going to do and I can make up answers. Oh, the question is over. <laughs> yeah, shit. Hilarious. I know. I was not the star. I was actually a fluffer, but I was the best <laughs> fluffer that they had. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh it just keeps getting funnier. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that one Krusty the Clown? The, the one uh, uh, Simpsons when Krusty found that the only signal in town was like the emergency broadcast signal. So he was <laughs> Yes. That's what I feel like right now. Like, okay, let's go up. 
Hi, Mr. Ken. Talk to Lyndon Johnson. <laughs> I did too. I saw that on Twitter. It said it was like eight guys, and they just use different camera angles, and they said none of them can be hard or some shit. Winslow is uh kind of way west of way east of Flagstaff, actually. It's a, it's not at uh, the same you know elevation. Like if this is Arizona, like say the top half of this phone is Arizona, right? Flagstaff's uh, like right here, yeah. uh-huh. and Winslow's like over here. Because I was gonna go to the Four Corners, and uh, the Four Corners Park, but man, there's nothing else up there. It's like there's literally nothing else up there. So I wasn't gonna do all driving, so I just went to the Grand Canyon again. Oh man, I've been nowhere. I want to go see things. And meet Grand Canyon is fun, man. You gotta. Oh, it should be in the chat, dude. I'll drop it again. Hold on. I traveled everywhere in this here land. Yeah, the. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, the the Grand Canyon is sweet. It's um, I don't know. It depends because, like, if you want to go all the way to the bottom, that's like a journey. It's like a serious journey yeah. to go to the bottom because you got to take donkeys and shit. And it's not like the the ride is fucking convenient. The donkeys are takes a toll on your body. I've heard. Oh uh, what? Well, and the donkeys get pissed. You know they don't want somebody riding on their back. Well, the donkeys are used to it, but it's constant up and down, down the hill, over the. You know, you see your, your body just gets really warm when you're on the donkey. <laughs> then they kick you in the ass when you get off. <laughs> They're not fun anyway. I don't think they do all that. I mean, they'd be a hostile donkey. They wouldn't have no business if every time they got off. They'd be, they'd be, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we got the meanest donkeys down. <laughs> live from the jungles of fucking West England. It's fucking doof. What's up, buddy? Well, hello. Hi, doof. Hey, sharp dressed man. That was a great pick. Oh, oh God. I've just I've just come back from a long walk. And it's nice and warm in my flat. Oh, yay. Thanks, brother. Nice. Hi, Alex. Damn it's it's very, it! It's cold yeah. outside. It says it's twenty three outside, twenty three Fahrenheit. That's cold. Yeah, um, seven degrees or something like that. six, seven degrees. But I'm not going to complain though, too, because it's like it's been so nice this month. This has been a good weather for month. Mm. Good month for weather. What is that? Wait, good weather for month. I don't know. However, whatever that is, dude. I don't know. I don't. I don't know, Joe. We're, I, we're I both starting. Get what you're saying. I, yeah. You guys I'm get what I'm throwing down. Hell yeah. Yeah, Man, I thought that, I thought that pop- weed is really strong. I don't know what the, it's only said it was twenty four percent, but whew. yeah, yeah this, um, stuff is, uh, this stuff is only like twenty something, twenty two, I think. But whatever, the, yeah, this is the, like twenty eight or twenty one point. No, it's the yeah twenty one. I mean, I'm fucking. They make this so small. Twenty two. No, it's twenty one point nine eight percent. Almost like twenty two. Mm. I don't know to be honest. Um, I, don't know the, I don't know the percentage of the uh, stuff in the UK. It's probably about 15, 16. Yeah, you never do. You never do. It's weird. It's like, hey, you know, back in the day. Like that. Oh. Bobby Joe, I had Roy Rogers again. <laughs> she recognized my <laughs> cup the other day. <laughs> she nice. Roy Rogers. Although they gave me the wrong shit. I wanted the roast beef sliders and they gave me chicken. Dark meat. I was angry. (laughs) But I ate it. I was hungry. (laughs) Right? Well, any more. Dude, I was at the uh, the fucking McDonald's the other day. And (laughs) I get up there and I I had my order through the app. It was, you know, just two sandwiches. You buy one sandwich, you go in free. So I had like a Big Mac and a quarter pounder. I'm sitting there at the fucking thing, and I give him the code on the app, and I'm sitting there. It's minutes on that. Oh, hold on. It's not working. Not working. Get the manager coming. Pull up. Okay. So I pull up. It's like fucking 10 minutes by the time I pull up. And then fucking, I, I, I get to the second window. She's like, oh, we don't have the quarter pounder. Can you pull up? I'm like, you fucking kidding me. So I go wait in the spot. Another 20 minutes later, fucking quarter pounder comes out. You guys go <laughs> waiting in line, fucking assholes. I hate those goddamn apps. The app is just so garbage. Yeah, but Jerry, 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 did you come riding bareback on a donkey? Because you know, if you if you, if you take if you take mushrooms for going to uh, McDonald's, then that's not a good idea. <laughs> hey, Doof, Drew's got a question for you. He says, do you know the band called Mac the Mac Lads? Uh, no. 
Okay, he says he just got back into him. So I'll have to, uh, I'll have to look him up. Um, so, like, <coughs> you know when you roll, you know when you roll, roll, roll a spliff, <coughs> and every tote tastes like a blood. Oh yeah, that's why I can't do the fucking. Uh, it's it's so hard for me with the fucking blood papers now, dude. I, it just makes it cost so much. I can't even fucking focus when I just I, I hit, hit it once or twice. It's just a fucking. Uh, I'm just fucking. You know, like to intro that song. You know the beginnings like a call for like twenty seconds. Like, yeah. <laughs> that's me after every fucking hit. But yeah, it's um. Oh, hi, Angie. You got your your sound went down, Ange. Your sound, you can't hear you no more. I hate when I do that. I don't know why I always hit um, the mute. Hi, how are you? Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. Mr. Blake, uh, the guest was a uh, no show. I haven't checked my email yet, but what what do you mean she's a no show? I'm I'm right here. <laughs> Right? That's what I said. I'm like, <clears throat> hello. So it's no, no, I <laughs> yeah, I don't look anything <laughs> like her. So, <laughs> so what, what was she at the you know, WWE or? She was an EC, ECW for a little bit. All right. And then I think she's on like XPW now. Couldn't really, I don't know. If she if she wants to come on the show again, she emails me back. That's fine. If not, I'm not gonna not gonna chase it. There's a football yeah. player I, I got's coming on. I don't know the exact date. Probably gonna be uh, next week. Garyon Conley played for Ohio State and want to see the Jets. I can't remember. I have to look it up. But he's so a wild that, man. That's, guy, so. um, that's American football, right? Right. NFL. Yeah. NFL. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, 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 thanks for uh, defining that. Yeah, you know, it's not it's not football. Yeah, it's not Premier League. That's what that's my workaround for the whole argument because we're never gonna get a, we're never gonna get along with it. We really won't. So I'll just call it Premier League and NFL. It's easier. Than <laughs> oh, he's the workaround. Well, look, right. The the Australians got it right. Okay, they 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 say Australian football. Yeah, because oh, Aussie rules. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whereas Americans call it still just call it football. Rugby's rougher. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Well, they hit. I mean, the thing with it is, they you when you have pads on, you hit a lot harder. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> yeah. While 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 they, I mean, the hits may look more, more you know whatever extreme in the Aussie rules football and shit like that. NFL hits way harder just because you're gonna hit more harder than pads. I mean, I've played, you know, both not Aussie rules football, but I've played tackle football. You know, where you're just running around, you just don't run up to somebody full force with your head and just kill them, you know, because you fuck your neck up. You know, there's common sense involved. Mm-hmm. You know, when you got a helmet and pads on, it's a different story. You're, you're going to be a floating dart and hit a lot right. harder. So that's why, you know, right. the it's not just it's just a different style of hit. It's not any more, any more or less violent, but the hits are probably just a lot harder with the pads on. The issue. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, the thing is, though, it's like the most rugby players over here, they were, they were taught it at school. So they've been into it for a long time. <laughs> and usually they are quite big people. Yeah, NFL, you got to be a certain size. Like if you're like, like if you're playing Division One football, you know, and you're not, you know, six foot or higher and over 300 pounds, you're probably not going to get a lineman job these days. You know, that's crazy to think about, you know. Because back in the day, you, you'd have – and that it, it just grew with society. I mean, back in the day, you had, you know, right after World War II when the guys would come back, you'd have linemen my size. I mean, I'd be big for a football player, 250 pounds. Now it's fucking, I'm only a linebacker, you know. And imagine somebody like me running a fucking, you know, 4 6 40, 40-yard dash in four and a half seconds. That's a that's insane to think about, dude. That's a fucking freight train coming at you. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Four, 40 yards in four. Hey. <laughs> yep, the the standard is four forty yards because they, they would say that's how far you have to run to cover a punt. So people would run the, the record's like four point two something. It's so crazy, dude. Yeah. Fast these fucking people are fucking speedsters, bro. 
Yeah. Do you know what it's like in, in football though, you don't really see them at full full fucking pace that much of the time anyway, because can they're a bunch of soft fucking wankers. And that's why I think they should take a player off. You know, it should go down to um, 10 players on the field instead of 11. I say this need a, you know, quadruple or quintuple the amount of people in the field. I mean, can you imagine how cool it would be to have 50 players aside? That game would never get done. <laughs> well, I was about, it's, like, it's like Aussie rules football. Basically, it's football. It's, you know, my football, the original football, um, on, uh, uh, um, on a cricket pitch. That's that's basically what Aussie rules football is. That's crazy to think about here. That's faster than a school zone. Like when you're driving to a school zone, you'll go 20 miles an hour. So that means they're fucking hit going. They would get a ticket in the school zone for running that fast. That's fucking wild, bro. I got earlier this week. I was uh, pulled over because it was funny. I Nikki. I, I was I was with Nikki, and I was like, because I saw the way the cap actor was like, watch, I'm getting pulled over right here. And sure enough, I got pulled over, but he gave me a warning. And uh, but I had to get my shit fixed. It was like within five days I had to get it fixed. So earlier today I went up to the police station. I was like, oh, I'm here to, you know, show you my lights work. She's like, oh, I'll take your word for it. You wouldn't have come in here if you didn't get it fixed. So I was, I was like, good point. <laughs> so she stamped it. And I fuck walked out. Because like at that point, you know, I, you know, I know what would happen. You know, they already got it on record. You know, so flight went out again, or you know, fucking did something else. To, they would uh, already have the fucking thing, and they they would give me a ticket at that point. You know. God, that would suck if I was driving and fucking light went out now, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh, my brake light's out. Oof. It was actually simpler than I thought, man. It was fucking pretty cake to do the one, to do both of them, actually. Well, the, the back one was a little bit more complicated because I had these little tiny fucking nuts I had to reach, and they weren't... <laughs> they were like... Just, just, just beyond. Sorry. You're such a pervert. I'm, I'm so <laughs> immature. <laughs> They were so they were like the one where they were way in the back and they weren't like you know just finger tight, they were a little bit wrench tight, so I had to fucking I had no wrenches, so I had to go like, get some wrenches. And I had to just do that. And then that's so that one once I once I got the thing off, it was easy. The front one was really cake, but I had the wrong light bulb. Because like when oh, I went yeah. up to the I went up to the auto zone the first time, this just this dude told me the one light. And I went and I watched the I was watching a YouTube video on how to do it, and I was like, that light doesn't look the same. And I did the first couple of steps and I looked like it's like, yeah, this is the wrong light. So I went up there and the lady swapped it out. And then I just did it right there. So it's cake. Yeah, so sorry, we just I just had some drunk person turn up at <laughs> the Thai massage place, expecting a Thai massage at uh, quarter to twelve at night. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I could never I don't know, I could never sit there too. I'm I'm just uh I'm weird with that massage thing. It's like I, I don't want to pay somebody to do something what my lover should be doing. You know what I mean? There's, you're, 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 your lover should be giving you massages. You shouldn't have to go to a massage place and do that. I guess if you don't have a lover, it's a different story. But I mean, I don't know. Like some people, are like, oh, we gotta go to this couple's massage. Why don't you just fucking massage each other? Why are you paying for <laughs> right? You know, okay. that's like taking your wife to go see a and life then, and show. then use that money for weed. <laughs> right, 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 exactly. <laughs> Right, just just sit on your hand for a bit, and then it'll feel like someone else. The stranger, exactly. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's like you you wouldn't pay somebody. It's like take your wife out to go see a live sex show instead of just having sex with her. Like, why would you do that? Yeah, it's just, I don't know. It's just me. It's just me. People. The thing is, dude, if people don't have any original ideas when it comes to dates, like whatever's trendy, they'll do. Oh, let's go axe throwing. Oh yeah, you're you're totally into this fucking twenty minutes ago. Not. Like you're just doing that because you got nothing else to do because you're boring. You're a boring person in general. Not you. You're no, trying no. to impress somebody with hey, hey, hey. you know nothing about. You're gonna end up cracking your head open. Hey, hey, is it worth it? Is it worth it? I don't think so. You know, our I first day, date? we were at the emergency room. Oh, it was a great day. I'm gonna take my date on the fucking bus. You know where you do? Where you go downtown and where you go walk by the lake. You know how cool that is. It's cool. I know. My, my, original. My, my first day is with this um, hopeful pre presidential candidate. Let's go uh, duck hunting. <laughs> right, Blake? <laughs> duck and this one the... we call bitch duck. <laughs> I was thinking about that earlier. When I was driving, I was thinking about that. I was, I was fucking laughing. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, we're up here in Ohio, the uh, the acid rain capital of, of the world, apparently, I guess. Oh. I don't know. It's... Uh, I don't know. I, I have. I, I was. Part of me wants to go down there and just check it out to get some, to get some footage. But then it's like, well, what if I go down there and 
The shit is true. Yeah, stay, just stay away. Just stay away. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. I did, I did the other day, just yesterday, I was at the fucking thing. I just literally recorded like two seconds of fucking rain. I was like, oh no. And just threw it up. And I knew I knew it was going to fucking at least get a thousand. It got like 1,600 views. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> All right, we have a live look in. Hey, or, uh, let me ask you, Doof, have you ever seen the movie Full Metal Jacket? Yes, I have. All right, so we got a live look in on uh, this is what happened that when Doof passed out the other day. This is what happened. What was the matter with him? He's jerking off 10 times a day. It's no shit. At least 10 times a day. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I you asked if I had seen that movie the other day, and I said no, and that was a lie. I mean, I did not see the whole movie. I right, saw, well, people. A lot of people watch the first part, and then once they get to the Vietnam part, they're just like, eh, and go away. I, yeah, they just stop it. Yeah. I got to the part where uh, I don't remember what his name is, but the drill sergeant kept screaming at him all the time, and he ended up. Um, shooting himself, yes, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. And I had to turn it, I got so upset I had to turn it off, so I only saw it to that part, and then it was, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey what's up, buddy? But Come on up and hang with this. He, movie. he, he plays, he plays that role so well, yeah. Like, yeah what a great, just... maybe the best fucking acted movie of all time. I mean, it's gonna be such like fucking just like. If you, so if, good, right? Just so fucking good, like perfect for that role. If you want, <laughs> if you want to know, if you want to tell your neighbors that you're crazy, then you literally put that on. You put that that sentence on, like over on repeat. This is my rifle. <laughs> like, this is my rifle. This, we need to do that for YouTube, bro. We should do that. We'll call it hashtag Full Metal Jacket Challenge, and we'll stand there in boxers and go, "This is my rifle. This is my gun." We'll like hold a broom or something. We don't want to hold <laughs> this is for fun. This is for fun, dude. That'd be fucking hilarious. Remind me, we'll do that. We'll do that. Wait, we I'll, gotta I'll, get like twenty people to commit. They'd be fucking hilarious. I've got, I've got the boxers. I've got a broom. Do I have to wear boxers? Because I don't look good in boxers. You could just, you can wear on <laughs> just basically any. You can wear bathing shorts or something. I don't know. Just basically watch that scene and come up with the costume based on that, and then that'll be just, sufficient. Let's put it just, like that. Just wear, just wear a white gown, Angie, but make sure you don't wear a hood with the white gown. Because that might look a little bit. Yikes! Yeah, no, <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah. Uh... But dude, one time there was this. Uh, so I like I quote Full Metal Jacket all the time, like because I it's, for a while that's all I watched. There was this one summer all I did was get drunk and watch Full Metal Jacket. But like, there, you know, everybody he's like disappear scumbag. So we were at my buddy's house, right? And his girlfriend was getting ready to leave, and I was like disappear scumbag. And she never saw the movie, and she got all salty and shit, and I had to explain, like, yo, dumbass, this is from a fucking movie. I hate to explain fucking movie quotes, bro. Like, obviously, I'm not randomly calling you a scumbag in the middle of the fucking day. I mean, I'm an asshole. Fucking idiot. Well, I'll tell you what. The next time a, next time a bloke leaves, right, say this. He's just left. We've not. <laughs> now, what film's that from? I don't know. Hmm, Betty. Spring in a chain. Spring in a chain. <laughs> um, that that is from Kung Pao. Oh, I've not I've not seen that. Yeah. That is a great stone in the movie. Oh no. Is it Kung Pao or fucking Yeah, I think it might be. Someone someone in chat's probably gonna know. Hopefully. <laughs> Kung Pao. Chicken. <laughs> Extra spicy. Chinese dudes. Chinese dudes. I, already, I already have food. Though. I had some uh, not linguine. What the fuck was it? Ziti? Big ziti? It had cheese on it. It was really good. Huh. Still got an email from fucking Jasmine's people. I don't know. She's probably, uh, probably drunk. I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> I, I, I had a cheese and crisp sandwich. Nice. 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 I, I liked it that much. I had another one. <laughs> you gotta toast it up, bro. You're gonna be fucking nah. It cost me too much to heat my oven up. Jesus, <laughs> man, I'm not. I'm not getting you gas in this country at the moment. It's fucking so expensive. 
Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, I don't know, dude. It's, I mean, it'll eventually go back down. I mean, it's, people always, whenever the price rises, people always think it's going to keep rising. Whenever it keeps dropping, I think it's going to keep dropping. So, I mean, it's, uh, once they figure out the back end bullshit, then they'll be all right. Who knows? Who knows? Hmm. Yeah, but, uh, anyway, um, yeah, congratulations, um, Alan, getting to 100K. That is for awesome. sure, for sure, for, for, definitely, definitely. Mad respect and love to uh, Mr. Eclectic Beard for the first known creator award, at least in our community, that I would say, right? I don't think I mm -hmm. really can't get with anybody else who's a silver creator award, so that's pretty cool. I was about to say, you just got to get Blake that up. Right, we're gonna get Blake another ninety or so, and then it'll be up there. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, it's uh, it'll probably take an in-person visit, to be honest with you. But the thing with fucking where Blake's at, this region of the country, dude, it's like there's nothing there. When I say there's nothing there, it's like fucking, uh, it's like this. I mean, it's like a town of six thousand, and the nearest town away is like fucking forty thousand, and that's fucking forty-five minutes away. There's nothing there. You know what I mean? It's like, I don't even, two, three hours away, and it's like, there's no, it's like, no, if, if there's a way I could pick them up and they go to a convenient town, but there's not even a convenient way to do that. That's, that's the best kind of place because you can get away with all kinds of shit when you, when you go there. It would take like four hours extra just to fucking pick them up, just to come to a place where it would be anything to fucking do. I don't know how law enforcement is down there with weed either, you know what I mean? Up here they're cool, I think. I just assume they're cool. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie though, I do, I do, do I really love my police department and where I'm at, Lord Tom said, what a great fucking police department. They've always been very cordial. Every time I encounter them, I'm just hey, house or you know, just chilling, friendly banter. You know what I mean? It's always been cool. Other police departments, man, they just fucking, I don't know. It's so weird how it varies from town to town. Like, yeah, oh. one town here, it's fucking great. One town just bullshit. One town's great, you know. Well, you know how in the UK, um, it's illegal all across the board, sort of thing. Right, right. Um, yeah, there's ta there's certain towns and villages and cities that are now saying that the police chief there is now basically saying, yeah, we, we can't be asked to go across. I mean, if people ring us up and say, oh, I, uh, a house smells of cannabis, yeah, we, we don't care anymore. We've got, we got bigger issues to fry. We've got bigger people to fry, you know. Just, right. That's, yeah. why most of them, that's the way most of them look at it now. They're like, we just, mm -hmm. yeah, we don't come out. We don't care. Whatever. <laughs> Well, to be honest, if if you're growing it, look, if you're growing it, then you're going to be using a lot more electricity and shit. So, yeah, they're going to know because they're just going to ring up the electricity board and just be like, look, how much are they using? Oh, crap, that's a lot more than average. Go bust them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, all the humble, what's up, buddy? How's it going, Joe? What's up with life, man? Hello. Hell yeah! That's my Hi favorite. there. Check him out if you're into if you're into that kind of thing. He's good because he's got a lot of hustle, man. He's got guts, and guts is enough. That's all you need in this world. Mm. You got my guts, and then you're good, man. You're good. So for those who have come out to the show, apologize for the uh, last minute hastiness, preparedness. Yeah, you know, it's the way of the world, you know. Brian, lovely. Right. Hi, Brian. Hey, Brian's in the house. What's up? What's up? I, I see this. I see this dude go live all the time, but it's always like a, an awkward time. Yeah, he's oh, he Brian. tends to go late nights. Late nights, <laughs> like yeah, it'd be like three in the morning your time and shit. It's way too late for you. Way too late. Oh, yeah. Work, work, work. Mm -hmm. Amen, brother. Amen. I'm done with the bullshit. I want to retire. Mm. Well, I've got some lemonade from Marks and Spencer's, which is like the posh food place over here um and it's got raspberry and lemonade it's got raspberries and obviously lemon in it um but it tastes you know as a kid you got some lemonade and then got all the um fruit juice and put it in and made yeah. like a, made like a concoction almost like or even go to like um i don't know the cinema and get like seven up tango um well, um, Fanta, Coke, Pepsi, Dr. Pepper, all, all of like the fizzy drinks in one. It, yeah. tastes, it tastes exactly like that. Ooh. Yum. Yeah, the big thing over here, like Andrew was talking about earlier, uh, Doof is... Oh, uh, Blake. 
the Pepsi, the Pepsi with Peeps in it. It's Peeps Pepsi. Peeps Pepsi. Yeah, and they say it tastes like baby powder. I got Peeps here. I like some Peeps. I fuck with the Peeps. Too. Well, I, you know what? I want my drink to taste like baby powder, so I'm gonna need to get me some Peeps. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they they brought they brought back um clear Pepsi for a bit. Ew, ew. Yeah, that clear a Pepsi. Bad idea. Crystal Pepsi was a shit there for a minute. Remember everything in the nineties was all clear. Do you remember that clear gravy commercial, dude? For a oh. damn hot minute. Ew. No. Oh, dude, go when you when we're done here. Before we go, JBs, go to YouTube. Type in Saturday Night Live clear gravy commercial. It's so fucking funny. It was like this guy, this lady's eating a sausage. She's like, "Oh, we love this clear gravy." She's putting on, "Oh, it's it's fucking great, dude." Well, so we we had a fizzy we had a fizzy drink over here, and it had like um almost like foam bits in it, like they're edible sort of thing. But you had like bits in it, sort of thing. Um, mm -hmm. they're like circular, circular little little discs in them. Yeah, um, didn't taste very nice. <laughs> Hey Joe, now from what I hear, you're not these days because everybody, every boomer I see is still working. <laughs> Poor bastards. Right. I, I, my buddy Tom, my buddy Tom at work, man, he was going to retire when he was seventy because this uh, lady's been kicking with Social Security, and uh, he was sixty nine. He fucking just I uh, got a text to say he passed away. I was like, oh no, that's horrible. And he wasn't like bad health either. He was ambulatory. He walked around. You know, seemed to be decent. A bunch of bullshit. Yeah. All righty, guys. Um. Uh, thanks for coming out. Uh, I don't have any guests in the future scheduled yet. Like I said, working on Geary on Conley. If uh, Miss Sinclair wants to come on the show again, we'll see what's up. Other than that, yeah. uh, I'll, see, I'll see you guys over at JV's and uh, talk to you later. All right. Sounds, sounds, sounds. Thanks, Bye -bye. Joey.